hey, beautiful human, thanks for clicking on our conversation with CNCO. They have a brand new album out soon. It's called Deja Vu, but they have a new single out now. Link in the description below. This album different than any other album they put out there. They're going to tell you why in a second. But first, I got to tell you to leave your honest feedback in the comment section below. Uh, if you like the video, hit like. And even if you hate us, hit subscribe. Please. Okay. CNCO's here. Let's do this. Yo, what's, Yo. Up? Oh, what's going on? Wow, y'all are coordinating. What's good? Happy deja vu, uh, deja vu announced day, right? We have hey, hey, hey. world that we have an album on the way. Yeah, let's go. Let's get that. It's rather exciting. Uh, this album, different than any other album you've ever put into the world. Any other, I mean, you've covered songs before, but uh, this album is. Like not like this, right? This is totally different. Yeah. You're doing it's a cover great. Album. Yeah, it's it's super awesome. We're super happy we get to do this concept album with songs that are that are so legendary. Um these songs our parents used to listen to them. We used to go to school, you know, and they would play them. So it's something crazy that we get to do these songs that are, you know, really huge songs for the Latin community. Even Heroes was big here too. Um there's many songs that, that um that many people knew and now we're beginning to back with our flow and we're super happy how they turned out. Well, how, like, take me into the curation process, like even picking these songs and putting it together. You know, like, do you have to take, you obviously take a giant trip down memory lane. Exactly. The process was super, super cool, man. I think we have so much fun. Um, I remember we have a list of a lot of songs and like we choose the ones that we connect the most with. And I think the process of recording the song, because we knew it from like way before how you're the same. Um, and it was super, super, super fun. So yeah, we're super excited. What is the process like taking a song apart and then kind of putting it back together again, but doing it as DNCO and doing it for a totally different generation? The good thing is that we kind of knew all of them already. So um, we just recorded them how we would record them. Nothing like how they did before. You know, the production was completely different too. Um, and I feel like this album also, it gives us um, more of a chance to show our like vocal capacity. Um, how do you say? Capacity? Uh, yeah, yeah vocal capacity. Vocal vocal of, of, of like what we can do with our, with our vocals. So I think it's something very cool that fans will, something new that fans will hear. Um, and they'll like it a lot. Well, I, I'm pretty freaking excited for it. What have you all been up to? Because, like, life's been weird and different, yeah? Weird. Um, I mean, this whole pandemic uh, just took us, us off guard. To, yeah, exactly. Take a, yeah, took, took us off guard. It took us off guard, yeah, exactly. Uh, but it gave us time, bro. It gave us time to reconnect with us, reconnect with our family, uh, to think about this project, too, because we were hearing these songs while we were in quarantine. And then it came out to Sony, and then we had this idea, and then everything it became came. a whole project. It became a whole project. Uh, but yeah, like quarantine treated us decent. good, decent, decent. It treated us decent because sometimes we had these times, of course, that we just wanted to go out already. Tour. But and tour again and just go around the world again. We were, and also seeing like what's going on in the world, you know, yeah. like, it took us like off guard and, and took us to a different trip and made us appreciate also about life you know and, and each other yeah you know so we kind of connected a little bit more in this quarantine we learned a lot of things we learned how to cook you know we learned how to paint we learned how to clean our houses you know stuff like that so we more patient um, be more patient um but y'all yeah, were also a part for the first time ever too right because you had been non-stop since you got off the tv show like yeah, for a while <laughs> and, this is the first time Basically, this is the thing, the, the most of the time that we were not looking at each other. For the, like, like we, oh, yeah. we, were, we were quarantined, bro. For Best example, days of my life, man. <laughs> <laughs> for example, Joe went to Cali with his family, and we all, we, all, we all live here in Miami, but we were all in different places. So we stayed there for, what, two months? Three two months. months. And that's the longest time we ever been, been apart, seen each other. Like, uh, without seeing each other. I mean, like that. It's a, he was like, yo. 
Did the pandemic kind of change your plans? Like, were you guys working on the covers album before? What were you working on before? How did we get to the covers album? We had a, so this album, this album um, came from, from quarantine time. Definitely. Like we was, I'm planning to have another album before the quarantine. Yeah. Um, and then this idea comes um, and, and, and was like, just working this. Cause we're still like working in the other album. We want to like um, make some songs like perfect and we want to like, work some songs. Exactly. So we like start working in this one and, and was perfect, man. But we also had a tour that was actually going to start in the uh, beginning of June yeah. in the United States. Um, so that kind of, you know, it got, got ruined. But at the end of the day, we got other things. We had like a plan B, which was this album. We also um, were working on other stuff. So there's a lot of things that are going to be coming out soon that we've been working on. Non stopping. The, the pause is kind of like a blessing in a sense, right? Like you get to reconnect with your family and life outside of work and music. But at the same time, you get a chance to listen to the album and soak in the album that maybe you were going to put out there. And I don't know, like for, for a lot of reasons, growth, yes? I love it for sure. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the best thing about, that happened with this. You know, sometimes you think that you have something so ready that when you have time to listen back to it, you're like, oh, man, all right, we, we could do this better. You know, yeah. so that's what happened with, this, with the album that we were going to drop. You know, this, um, this quarantine also gave us time to like listen back and we're like, oh, damn, all right, cool. So now we have time to rework these songs and make them better, you know, and maybe place it in a different market than we were thinking of, you know, um, stuff like that. And then it, it, it gave us the idea to just create something that will make people happy in this time. You know? well, that's it. Like, I think deja vu is very much needed right now because I think yeah. it has the potential to connect generations and also oh. really repackage music that is timeless and educate yeah. people because there's a lot of people out there who haven't been in the know on these songs, but they're about to hear it in a whole new way. I think it's very, very cool. It's very cool. And what we love about this concert is, is that our fans will we will have they will have the opportunity to like connect maybe with their parents that they they know those songs those classic songs Perfect. for them for sure like means a, like a lot. a lot. Um, so I think could be a, a special moment between fa a father or mother and, and son. You know what I mean? So. I think it's kind of cool. Did you guys do a lot of covers when you were on the TV show, I assume, right? Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. The TV show, we yeah. did a lot. A lot. Uh, were there any that we did that are good, you know? Ah, and what's it called? The one that I did with Yasha. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's a couple of songs. I think, I think there's like a couple songs that we actually did covers of during the show that we were in that like we're now we're going to be releasing during the album. So that's something super cool. We have a song that's... Uh, a Ricky Martin song and like him being a part of our like you know our careers from the beginning and being able to do one of his songs I think is super special um just like many other artists that we're going to be covering so, the, yeah. there is just such a healthy range here the oldest song that you're going to be covering goes all the way back to 1984 and yeah, yeah. the most recent goes to 2005 Aventura uh, so uh, yeah. uh, how, how does it start? Like, how did like take like take us through like one of the Louis Fonsi the Louis Fonsi cover? Like, how does how does it begin? Like, do you place lyrics? Do you strip it down and like start from nothing? Like, what is it? What's the process like? Um, the process was dope, man. Because the, the thing is, the the great thing about this is that most of the times, you know, we we get to listen to these songs. And let's say. Um, new kids on the block, you know, you used to listen to their songs and you used to dance and all that stuff, but you never really focused on the lyrics or, you know, the feeling or whatever it is, you know. So for us to record these songs, it gave us, a, it gave us to touch into these feelings and, yeah. and touch into these eras, you know, and 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 know why people, like, you know, mess with these songs, you know. But yeah, and and vibe with them. So um, and it, it helped us a lot grow in um, lyrically. You know, musically as well. You know, and and just going back to these to these songs, we didn't really place them in order. We just went with uh with whichever we had for, at first because we were also reproducing it. You know, yeah. we were we're doing uh, new production, new things. You know, changing a little bit of melodies and stuff like that. So it was more about which one was ready first for us to record. Um, and then we worked on like you know from oldest to newest and stuff like that. But man, this whole project is crazy for us. To, it just took us on a trip. Um, 
you know, down memory lane, and it just it just made us happy, you know, and we know that it's gonna make a lot of people happy and educate them as well on music history. Yeah. And by the way, I think we're we're in a trend period right now where there are artists who are reimagining and bringing back songs from the past. Uh, Surf Mesa with uh, the Frankie Valley Four Seasons song "I Love You," and then uh, there's the other one. Uh, you put your records on by Rip Momney or whatever his name is. Um, people are doing it, and it's pretty cool because there's a bunch of people out there who have never experienced. I mean, any of the hero isn't it crazy to think that there's a, a like like there's a like millions of people out there that have never really heard hero like fully and, and like like come on but it's true yeah, yeah. the crazy part about hero too um is that hero was such a legendary song because it came out straight when the you know the twin towers yeah. thing i mean you know the, the the whole effect of that you know so it came out to that so it became such an inspirational song for the american people as well you know but also um, an inspirational generational song, like for people in exactly. my generation and, and made yours essentially kind of like, cause you guys yeah. blew, like oldest and youngest in the group. How old are y'all? 19 to 24. 19 to 24. Okay. So like there maybe yeah, that's like right there. Right, yeah. Believe me, I, I hear these songs and in my, in, the, in my phone, those moments when I was younger, these songs were like crazy all the time, wherever right. I go, wherever I, Whatever, be, cleaning with the clowns, yeah. the restaurants, everywhere I go, I listen to this song. Is there pressure when covering a song yes. as legendary? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every single song covering any of those songs, um, it's just like you feel like you have a kind of like this weight, like this kind of pressure, but at the same time, responsibility. We responsibility. Yeah. We have this great team that's with us in, in the studio. Our our vocal producer, producer John, he helps. So, so much with everything even us i feel like we're a lot more comfortable with how we sound and we're like a lot more open to what we want to do so at the end of the day i think this project was perfect um perfect timing and it it, it sounds pretty good actually every time we was about to record um a song we have like we, we was having like like a history like, lesson like a history it. class of mm -hmm. that song like which year and and what like why you saying Why it? How you say that? Like, what, what, what was the meaning of the song? Yeah, exactly. So it was really cool. Like we also like learn a lot with that. That's the great thing about our team too. You know, they educated on every song that we sang. You know, so um, for us was also like a learning process. You know, because yeah. we would listen to these songs, but we never know where it came from. You know, who wrote it and stuff like that. So you know, now we're actually knowing and and, and very conscious about. How the, the historical meaning between between all these songs. getting in those lyrics like the meaning behind and everything yeah you, you better understand the torch that's kind of being passed to you in a sense it's really yeah cool. it's very cool Did you guys get to talk to uh, enrique or like ricky martin when you were recording it asking him tips advice anything like that but mm -hmm. well, not while ricky. recording um but after we recorded we talked to ricky yeah we sent him like a little thing um and he messed with him man and we can see as well yeah. Um, they loved it, man. You know, to, for us to, to just recreate these songs and, and show it to our generation, you know, and, and just like just have these songs back again, you know, it, it just feels great, you know. And for us, it's just a, a honor to honor. just represent these songs and, and make them the best that they can be. Hey, beautiful human, I, I gotta hit pause real quick to talk about trains. It can be a little frustrating, especially if you're running late or if you're in a hurry, to find yourself at a railway crossing waiting for a train. And if the signals are going, and the train's not there yet, you may feel tempted to try and sneak across the tracks. I'm here to tell you to not ever do that. Ever. Ever. To the naked eye, trains do often appear to be further away and moving slower than they are, but they can't stop quickly. <laughs> Even if the engineer hits the emergency brake right away, it can take the train over a mile to stop. Over a mile. By that time, there could be a potentially deadly crash. So the point is, you can't know how quickly a train will arrive. So if the signals are on, the train is on the way. And you just need to remember, stop. Trains can't. What do y'all learn about yourself from being away from the group for a couple months? I miss it. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's true though. Um, like, you know, we kind of you, you get to you get to other. miss the people that you're around. Like while, while you're in quarantine by yourself in the room, is like you miss everyone. You know, after two days, you're there. It's like 
you want to do like you get to appreciate it a little bit. You get exactly you get to appreciate everything like more. Yeah, a hundred percent more. Discover anything about yourself from be- hanging out with family and connecting. You know, yeah. being away from work. Yo, know, that I can I I can make good eggs. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Nice. How do you prepare your eggs? Are they sunny side or are they scrambled? <laughs> crazy scrambled eggs. You know? Some crazy scrambled eggs. You know? <laughs> <Some toast. laughs> that's a skill. I mean, I think that's hey. Man, that's 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 a, that's very cool. You know, that's a, the the first meal that meal of the day. That's, uh, <laughs> Big one. Yeah. But yeah, bro, he gave us time to to connect with our family, like you said. Um. Gave us that little time to be present with them, to kind of help, maybe like just a little time cooking with my mom, or cleaning, you know, mom cleaning, maybe my clean mom. every day, you know. So that was that was beautiful to me. Yeah, you know? those little moments I, I appreciate, like really appreciate. Movie nights, movie nights, movie nights, yeah, movie yeah, nights. Yeah, game yeah. nights, Monopoly. Yeah. Game. We stuff. bought, we everyone bought a um, a pet, so oh. we're in love right now with our pets oh, yeah. and everything. Like all stuff that you wouldn't be able to do if you were working. And, and exactly, you know, yeah, exactly. Like a kind of normal life. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. At the end of the day, we took the positive out of the negative. Yeah. And we, you know, we, we, we I think we've actually grown these past months of, of quarantine. I mean, honestly, if there wasn't a quarantine, we might be, we, we might actually be in the same room yeah. together speaking about a different album. Totally. Yeah, you know, happened. Like, right. like, you know, everything like, happens for a reason. Yeah, man. Yeah. Deja vu. It's a bunch of love songs that span decades that really, I'm really excited. I love covers. I first started to get really deeply, deeply, deeply into music when I started really hearing covers on YouTube. I mean, 13 years ago or whatever, you know? That's crazy. And just the reimagination, uh, the reimagination of songs and somebody having the ability to strip something back and then just rethink what's dressed around it and how the story's delivered. I, I think it's really, really cool. It's like a whole different art form yeah Um, yeah it it, like it is different from creating a song from nothing right which you also obviously done yeah because you got you have to get in that character like you have to get in in the character of what to their story Mm -hmm. story, to kind of breathe and read the read the lyric and when you read it before you listen because we had the melodies on the on the head because we we heard the songs but when you actually read it and get in the zone and get in the character, you feel what they were trying to say and they, what what were their message. There's lyrics that we were like, whoa, I didn't know yeah. you said this. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, there's lyrics that is like so beautiful. Yeah. And, and like the, yeah, the lyrics that they used back then, that's like crazy, so poetic. Yeah. yeah. We were the whole story. It's awesome. Is there a discovery that sticks out to you? A lyric that sticks out to you? I think all of them. All of them. Una letra específica como una línea. It's because, to be honest, since all these songs are like, like all the hits and all like the amazing songs that all the girls would like die over, there's not, I don't think there's like a specific, a specific one, a specific like phrase that I would, I can tell you like, wow, it's completely different. It's amazing because all these songs are like, I can be your hero, baby. (laughs) (laughs) In the beginning of Hero, um, Enrique whispers, let me be your hero. Yeah. Yes. Does yeah. somebody does somebody get to do that on your cover? Oh, we actually we actually thought of it. You know, we were, we in, studio, it. We were in studio. We're like, yo, who's gonna do the whisper? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna do that? <laughs> but but man, we started, we didn't want to imitate his, you know, his stuff because that's also like taking away his essence, you know. So we wanted to add ours. It's like kind of like um, what's it called? Adding, adding, you know, adding to his to his legacy, you know. Yeah. Um, and just making our own our own way, you know, and trying to give a, a new life at the end of the day, you know. So, because we respect everything that he did with this song, so we also didn't want to, um, you know, take away from his art yeah, form, yeah. you know. So um, it's beautiful. I yeah, think yeah, like, you hear what he did, and the, well, what artists did in the, every single song is amazing. It's beautiful, very unique. The other song I wanted to ask was the one about Big Boy. I don't want to pronounce the title of the song because I'll I'll butcher it, but. That song's a little different. There's like a lot of rapping in that song, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you hear that song before? I I recognize when when I got the track list, I recognized it, so I went back and listened, and I I definitely know it. And I listened to all the other songs, and it definitely stands out. It's much different than the rest of the songs you're covering. Yeah, yeah. it is cool because I I don't know if you noticed, like in the beginning, it's a bit more like mellow. Yeah. You really don't expect that like fast rap part come in, so it's something definitely 
something like different that's gonna catch a lot of people that don't know this song off guard. Yeah. Um and yeah, it's different for that song. We actually have I say that we have choreography. We have choreography. <laughs> we have choreography on that song. Um and Kyle Hanagami, he he worked with us on that and it turned out amazing. We actually had a couple days to do that on and Zoom. Um, on, on Zoom, Zoom yeah. two days two wow. days to figure it out and we killed it <laughs> <laughs> it was cool it was cool how'd you tackle the rapping part the rapping part that's Straight between on. these two and yeah, yeah, yeah. actually yeah. these three yeah it was crazy because for me it's so it's so different you know like I'm used to melody and, I, and I'll rap but like you know chill you know not so crazy but like as soon as I heard Sabia kill it, and I saw I heard um, Eric kill it, you know, so I was like, yo, I gotta step up to this level right here. <laughs> and then, and it was different for me, you know, to, to tap into that fast rap, you know, stuff like that. And also since I have like a little stutter sometimes, you know, it was it was hard for me, but I, I did my best. When when you're rapping that, is that a exact cover, or do you kind of put your own little twists on it in those verses? He did, he did a little twist yeah, on it. Twist. Twist. Yeah, it's just a tiny twist, but it's. Is there like melodically? Melodically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Aventura is the only boy band that you actually ended up covering, right? So, I, I, I mean, there's a duo in there, but they're the only group group. How'd you break down all these records that were originally meant for one person or two people? We we kind of listen like a hundred times in the studio all over again the original songs, and we were hearing it he kind of like. I kind of, kind of like this I, I part. With this, with I kind of identify with this part. Let me kind of um, prep it out, and we just step on in the booth and try it out, and it came out good. Like each one of us trying their parts. And also, what we do too is like, let's say if somebody started the the last song, somebody else gets to start this song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so like we do that as well. You know, like let's say if, if somebody was on the second um, hook on this one, let's try to mix it up for the other one and put yeah. somebody else, you know. Is there strategy musically in that or is it just fairness and equality yeah, for it's all? It's a little strategy with fairness. And, yeah. But at the know, same time, too, forward. you kind of hear the demo and you're like, okay, that sounds like him. Yeah. Yeah. You should yeah. record that. Um, but at the end of the day, we're super happy how it turns out. We're, we always make sure we're all 100% happy with the outcome of every song. So, so yeah. Do you hear the production redone for these covers before you set the lyrics to it? So you set the pace and you set the tone right before you craft it, or there was one which is the Aventura one that we didn't have the production, nothing yet, you know. So we kind of did it like super stripped down, kind of like R and B ish, you know. Oh, cool. Um, very R and B soul, and then um, and then we started working on the production, but we did it like kind of how we envisioned it. We're like, all right, cool. This song is gonna be a little R and B, but still like you know poppy and still marketing the bachata you know um so we kind of tapped into that imagine you know with our imagination and then they re recorded the production but yeah. most of them had the production before anything mm. um, just like a little yeah just maybe a little sample. the chorus and just the kick kind of just yeah. to kind of start and to then feel the vibe yeah exactly now why did we want to start in 1988 because, well like in the video like in the video like yeah. the story so we wanted to do, we wanted to connect what was, what was with the, like, for example, this song, the first song that we were dropping right now, the Enamorados, came out in the 1988. Mm -hmm. And one really pop moment, pop cult, like culture pop moment, mm -hmm. pop, pop, culture culture moment. pop culture moment in that, in that moment, in that era, in that year. Also the 88, 1988. The 88 was, uh, what, was the block. video of New Kids on the Block. Like they were mm -hmm. killing that moment. So we were like, all right, how can we mix this whole e event and generation, generation yeah. and events and culture and the pop culture moments and the, and the pop culture into this uh, covers project, into this, um, um, how do you say? Uh, uh -huh. co uh, no, there's a no, concept. Like concept. A concept so this, yeah. this concept. It's like a concept inside of a concept. So we were like, let's try to mix and let's try to redo the a scene of the video of the new kids on the block with this new song and it just came out perfect bro it's just like we went in there and the the, the director uh carlos, le un saludito. Yo, carlos perez killed, carlos it, perez killed, killed it. it we went there and it was the exact same set set that the new kids on the block used and we were like wow we were like our minds were blown 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's cool though. It's like it's not like you didn't just say, okay, let's just throw a covers album together. You've put a lot of thought into everything with this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the whole the whole is video yeah. and the whole strategy behind it is just amazing. You have to see the whole the whole the whole um product. And it's and it's not just and it's not just this uh first video, the second video that also has like a connection into that as well as the one after that and then can so far so far. Everything is connected. And Do you because, now, in a way, view uh, these songs as your songs? Basically, in a way, we kind of feel like that they're kind of our songs like, as well. Yeah. Too, even though we're not like the the like you know the writers of these songs, the way we recorded and the way we put our passion into it, it kind of feels like they're our babies too. Yeah. But yeah. We, we're, we kind of feel like we share them with these other artists. Um. So and we're really proud of man the, came out. the fact that they gave us this song to just like represent these songs, you know, and redo these songs and and touch to their artwork, you know, and and remake their artwork because it's not it's not easy it's like you know you, yeah. you look at picasso you can't remake his, his artwork you know so um it's like kind of just drawing around the line that you can you know putting a new life to and it. yeah and, and just rebuilding it you know making just giving a, a new life to our generation yeah. at the end of the day you oh, know what's happening now yeah we want to implement in it we want to implement it to our people you know to our fans and also to their parents and everybody else so forth it's exciting deja vu the name is perfect too it is so good <laughs> Yeah, it's really made, well crafted, right? The whole song. <coughs> you like it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking on water. Sorry. <clears throat> what are you thinking, Daniel? Well, I was just looking at the cover, and Richard, your abs are insane up there. Quarantine. We couldn't go to the grocery <laughs> store for like ten days. <laughs> Left them like that, you know what I'm saying? Like it was kind of dumbbells, you know. It was just, I, I know. Oh, it's good to know that Dan's a fan of the abs. Well, they're right front <laughs> and center. You can't miss them. Are you uh, motivational and uh, motivational, inspiring? Okay, that's why right. we, we want all these other guys to look at Richard's abs and be like, we want those abs. We want to be got. I appreciate your time today, guys. And it really, Thank you, man. Thank not you. seeing you in person is weird. It is. Right. Weird. It is. It is weird. We, but we have to. We have to go again over there, man. To your yeah. set and vibe again. Yo, and even like like ten feet apart, but we still in the same Six room. Six feet. You know you know, in the corner, but we still talk. We are blessed with a rather large studio, and it's bigger than it looks on camera. So you're right. We can do something like that, and we're, I hopefully we'll get uh back to some sort of normalcy by. Spring, summer, 2021. Hopefully. And, but, but maybe not touring until 2022, which is a crazy thought, maybe. I mean. Wow. Yeah, it is crazy. It is crazy. Ooh, that is crazy. crazy. Hopefully, we hopefully hope, everything gets cleared up and a lot better. It's yeah, we hope to here. start touring soon, to be honest. Like, we cannot wait. Or at least go to different countries. At least to go to different countries. But at least try to visit some of our fans, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, see them. And if everything them. gets better. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, with positive thoughts, social distancing, and mask wearing by all, it will. And masks. Yep. That's right. Masks are cool, right, everybody? <laughs> masks are dope. If you wear masks, you're freaking cool as heck. Dude. Hot, sexy, all of that. But made it very clear to people, like, if you want to be sexy, you had to vote. Now, if you want to be sexy, like a mask, vital. You can't decorate your mask now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Before you go out of the streets. Dude. Wear protection in all forms. Thank you. Come yes, on. Sir. Right, Dan, can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. Amen. Always wear protection. Deja vu. I mean, uh, hey, I think that's an important PSA is this is a love – this is an album of love songs. So exactly. – and, and songs that, like, dude, I mean, there has to be ma baby making music on this record in some fashion somewhere, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, like, like Aventura Solo por un beso, bro. That's definitely, that's definitely one. Song. We're going to put, like, <laughs> I remember back in my day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, man, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of great, beautiful, melancholy songs and also upbeat songs with the love lyrics, you know. Yeah. Um, it's a good mix of, yeah, of beautiful lyrics and good rhythm. Well, maybe that, like, that's what I'm looking for. Like, if I'm looking to, you know, make some, you know, like, like hook up in a, in a sweet, passionate way and I need a playlist, then... I say, oh, deja vu. Deja vu. Yeah. Yeah. Up, like, at the up. bottom, deja vu? Oh, went. <laughs> you just tell me, you tell me, yo, show you want to go on a trip? You know what I'm saying? Yo. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
um you know i'm not hooking up until 20 spring summer 2022 you know until it's safe <laughs> <laughs> let's all report back then yeah uh, deja vu is the album but you're going to be releasing songs right like it's going to be a trickled out thing Yep. Yes, we got, right. we're gonna drop our, our our first song, our first uh, single of the album the, tonight, tonight at midnight, and then can, then you then can you can pre-order and you can see the whole name of everything, and then after that we're gonna drop. You'll see the song come out, you know. Great. I mean, like, yeah. we cannot say everything, but we're gonna be dropping some songs around there. You gotta be prepared. Yeah, I'm hungry, so feed me. <laughs> <laughs> and your fans are definitely hungry too, which by the way, they're a great group of people. Uh, I, you know, you, we've been coming on the show for quite some time and we've gotten to know your fans through the comment section and tweets and stuff. They're really special and they're really passionate and they love what you guys do. So, yeah. yeah, so, yeah we, we love it. Um, Dan, what, what, final thoughts? Where are you at? Uh, the one other question I had was, uh, Chris, that was you with the uh, as the woman in the music video, right? Ah, yes. You looked beautiful. You looked beautiful. <laughs> that, that that was Beso, our last uh, last single. Um, well, in that single, um, we were trying to we were trying to uh, bring something new to our fans, like it was in quarantine. Now. It was in quarantine too, and we were thinking about what can we give them that we haven't, you know. And we were like brainstorming. It was in the same uh, building, but in another room. And we were brainstorming, and we we're like, uh, then I don't remember who came up with the idea of doing the, this TV, TV kind of thing, and, and change channels. And then each one of us is one actor and doing something. And we were like, oh, that's a good start, you know. And then we started briefing, like, oh, I want to be an anchor. Oh, I want to be the, the the driver of uh, insurance car sales. Blah blah. blah. And every every everything came apart, and when he together, said everything came together, everything came together. together. I'm so sorry, my head is not. Even <laughs> and then I remember Eric uh, started saying that he wanted to be on a telenovela, and we were like, "Yo, that's amazing! That that's a really good idea." And uh, I don't know how the idea came of my me putting us as, as, as we were kids. like, we need Eric to have a girl, yes. and then two girls. Because we were oh, yeah, two yeah. girls, we had the uh, the model and myself. So supposedly the model was his wife, and myself was the cleaning lady who he cheated on. Duh. Exactly. Who he cheated on with? <laughs> with. So I mean, I I in that moment I liked the idea. He was like me. But when I dressed <laughs> up, bro, I was like, wow. How, Yo, this is so hard. Right now, yeah. I was this like, is so hard. I, I, I saw I saw was. I saw him walking. And I was like, yo, who's this? <laughs> and it turns around like, oh, shoot, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how girls can, can walk with the heel, bro. It's, it's insane, like, in my respect. Did you feel yeah. any confidence? Did you, uh, did you feel prettier, sexier? I, I feel amazing. You felt sexy, huh? <laughs> it, did, it did really feel weird, but we didn't have too much uh, people on the set because of the politics and the, the time. Got like little crew, yeah. but it was fun, bro. Like I got into, I got into the into the character, and we did it. Like we couldn't, we could not see each other's eye because there's a scene that he grabs me and go like this, you know. And we were like looking at each other, and we cannot stop like laughing in that in that in that scene. But we got it, we got it pretty good, and it was fun, you know. We got we got to do that and the la the, the fans love it so it was, all thanks, it was all thanks to Daniel Duran man. He, yeah he executed the right idea super fire man. Two Everything was <laughs> the fans and they loved it, bro. So <laughs> <laughs> if I wore that, I would have felt sexy. <laughs> Who wouldn't come on up? Yo, y'all put out real art here and it's, oh, and the only thing is i would have had a beard i would have been a woman with the beard hey hey, hey yeah. we, we don't judge around these so guys no? by the way you guys put out real thoughtful full art that is very multifaceted it's more than just music it, it's yeah superb even down to the clothes you're wearing right now very coordinated Thank you, Bob. Thank, Thank you. you so oh, much. You know, very cool. I, I really appreciate y'all taking oh. the time today. Deja vu is the album. Final thought, Daniel. Do you have one? I think we got it all. Are you lying? No, I would ask if I had something. Okay, good. Hey, I appreciate <laughs> you guys very much. CNCO. Thank you, man. Hey. Thank you.
Thank you for your time again, bro. And I hope you like the album when it comes out. I mean, hopefully you guys like it. Soon, boy. Yeah. I'm hella jazzed to listen. And yeah, please, uh, hopefully next year we'll be uh, in the yeah. same room again. And uh, have a safe holiday. And- Is that a cat? Yeah. Yeah, it's Richard's cat. Richard's new pet. Oh, oh, look at that little yeah, baby. Look how cute he is. Oh, my gosh. His name is Pluto because his nose looks like Pluto. Hi. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there you go. That's for all the scenes you under. He's so cute. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for sharing that. That just made my day. Hey, <laughs> hey I, I appreciate you all, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next year and have a safe holiday and a happy holiday with your families. Hey, brother. Likewise. You guys take care. Love you so much, brother. Bye, guys. Hopefully. Yeah, peace. Hey, beautiful human, thanks for watching our full interview, but I get it. Like, a full interview is a lot. So we got Eclipse Channel. We don't expect you to watch the full thing anymore, so we just gave you the highlights. Please, subscribe, and uh, notifications, and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I love you.